Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, Senpai? Ugh, this girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. What? Guys, put on your glasses! Whoa, it's all clear. What the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um... Could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? Y you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. It's just a thought. <laughs> Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. Wow, we haven't used that name in a while. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um, some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Huh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? I'm sure your uncle can. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes, there are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. The hell's up with that! We all know he did it! You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets! 
They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki-senpai. No, not just her. Or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. A Katatsu? Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Katatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! If we're getting a Kotatsu, we'd better get some oranges to complete the set. It's a cliché because it's true, damn it. The best compliment to a Kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a Kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Can I still stay here? You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. But I don't want to go until Nanachan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nanachan. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys... Can I really? That's right, you're just by yourself at home now, huh? Why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. Alright, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. <gasps> what? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Stay out of this! <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? That's not really for kids. It's still pretty cute. Just like the real thing. <laughs> All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake. Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. Oh, no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? Come on, let's go! Doctor! This 
fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <sighs> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Nanako. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but... Damn it! What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? You want to see that stuff so bad? We'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Hey, stop! What the? Is Nanako chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What's going on? No... Nanako-chan... Daddy... Nanako-chan... Nanako-chan... Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. <sighs> hey, bro.
Mexico. <clears throat> Nanako. I'm sorry, sir. No. <laughs> Nana Chan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... out loud he's the suspect in the case what are you getting mad at me for this is the biggest hospital and he's in no condition to be moved in case something like this happened the details of a suspect's hospitalization are confidential information just tell us where he is already dojima son's on his way ain't he you don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him Kun, you don't mean... Uh, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's this room? <clears throat> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. always watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... I... Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... I, the only one in the world... Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room! I'll go alert the doctors! Dojima-san, was he seriously gonna... His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai, and now Nanako-chan. 
And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did! That's not right! <sighs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? <laughs> I... I was scared, so... I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too?! It's your fault that Nanako Jun's! I... I didn't. I... 12 o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona, either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the...? I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatame's really thinking? Then he wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... please... stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you! K kanji <sighs> Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? Please, stop! He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I, I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... What's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Chie! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke! All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. 
just push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing could make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? We don't have time to wait! If we don't do this now, the cops will come back! What are you trying to say? Something we don't know! What don't we know?! But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! What didn't you understand?! Well, what is it?! I already told you there's no time to waste! Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit! Give me a straight answer! Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now! <laughs> He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <clears throat> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. Alright, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right. Together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks.
What are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh, crap. We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano, although her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. Ugh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's, what's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right. Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys, Sensei, what should I do? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's... alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. 
but until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... Oh my god! I... I... <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> Come on! Stop crying, you two! You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I, I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why? Mayumi? And that girl too? I couldn't save them. Huh? Hey, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Oh! It's snow! Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow.
Welcome. It's been quite some time. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? Splendid! The precise destination of this vehicle Ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight, Margaret. Yeah, well, I quit pretending. You gave me the opportunity to start walking. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Alright, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. Some travel fast. Some change their course. Experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. 